Hey, what is going on, everybody? It is Wednesday midweek. Let's go, winning Wednesday. That's it right there. I know sometimes it can kind of drag the beginning of the week. It's Monday. People don't like Mondays for whatever reason. Come on. Cool. You do you. Um, yeah, it's, I'm super excited because tonight we're going to have a good topic. We're going to be talking about Easter. We're going to dive into it in just a few minutes. But we, uh, this is our first one that we're doing. First you episode and I. right here. It's not, iconic. Not only father and son. Let's not, go. Yeah, not only is he my pastor, but he is also my father. So there is that, that boundary that, you know, you got to understand when he's a pastor and allow him to coach and mentor. And so I'm super excited to be here with you. That's yeah, super stoked. And uh, so we stole this idea from PJ. Yeah. Um, Come on. Shout out to PJ. And you're probably wondering, who's PJ? <laughs> That's my bride. Um, and uh, I want to give a big shout out to PJ. Jacqueline, I love you. And uh, yeah, so we, we took this idea. She's doing these talks with women. And uh, soon she's going to have a special guest um, this yeah. Sunday. Yeah, this coming this Sunday is going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, it you know, we're just going to have an awesome time. Yeah. Why don't we, we just dive into prayer and we're just going to jump into it. Let's get Let's going. About Easter. Yeah, I believe that tonight is that midweek fuel to yeah. really encourage. I believe people will leave encouraged after watching and listening today's episode. And yeah. uh, super stoked that we're doing it together. Yeah. Let's go. Let's pray. Come on. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for this midweek service. And we thank you for everyone who's watching, everyone who's listening. And we ask that you just be with them just right where, you're, right where they're at and just touch their hearts and touch them and just help them just right where they're at. Father, we thank you again just for everyone who's watching. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, why don't you put some glory bomb. Come on, some yeah. emojis right now on the chat line. Get engaged, Lee, man represent let us know where you're watching and uh hey we want to thank everybody that says subscribe to yeah podcast youtube the support is hey, out there we appreciate thank it you so much and uh hey we can't do it without you yeah uh let's talk about easter because it's a big deal in san antonio yeah i don't know about anywhere else because uh, on the I'm, calendar it's just a couple of days away yeah i don't know about anywhere else but in san antonio for sure it's a big deal yeah, a lot of tradition. The whole weekend, starting yeah. Friday, you get there early to the river because you got to find that good spot to camp yeah. at, and then you're there all day Saturday, and then Sunday is basically when you pack Rivers, up. Rivers, lakes. Yeah, it's ridiculous. When people have fun, and um, you know, not, not to church. No, not to church. But now it's different. Now it's different. Yeah, tell them why. All right. So here's the thing with Easter this year. Yeah. Church online. Literally, like you can pick up church anywhere. That's it. They can be at the river camping out. You can be at the river. And here's how I know your internet works out there. Because you're on Snapchat. Oh, you're on no. Instagram. Don't be lying. Don't be lying. You're on Facebook Live. Come on now. You're acting like you don't know what we're talking about. Let's go. Um, so I know for a fact you can go on YouTube and watch church online. And it's just so much easier. I know we had we had our meetings in the past, and I'm just you know my wife and I, Megan. Church is just so much easier for us yeah. as millennials and what we do, our background and everything with the creatives. It's so much easier because it's all on the phone. Yeah, no, it, it is. It's definitely like you the, know the I, Bible's there, church online, the services and messages, and it's all there. This whole pandemic thing for the church, for us, I know for us, we didn't shake, but we shifted. Yep. And um, and now that we're able, our reach and our expansion has just been astronomical. It's larger and larger. It, it, it's just become larger and larger. The opportunities yep. that we're now seizing, so impacting lives and. So we're not yeah. saying don't go to church on Sunday. That that that's so. Please do not misinterpret. Yeah. But for all the people that have been skipping out or doing this or that, hey, <laughs> don't worry. You, you can still. Be connected online. We and, uh, we got you, fam. Don't worry about that. And Go by now. the way, too, <clears throat> speaking about a couple of days from now, we're having Easter at the Norris Conference Center yep. this coming Saturday. Yeah. April the 3rd. It's going to be super awesome. Two, two amazing services. Yeah, Saturday services, which we haven't, I don't think we've ever actually done a Saturday service. No. Or two of them, to be exact. But why not? It's like, why not? Let's do it. We're going to do it different. And, uh... I'm super excited for that one because, okay, finally we get to go to a building 
and meet with the community. Yeah. So that's the only thing I really do miss is just being there in a building. Okay, yeah. cool. We get to hang out and just talk for hours or whatever the case is, meet up with your friends there. But that's kind of the thing that I do miss about having a building, but it's easier online. So, so check out our <clears throat> social media handles right there and, yeah. and find out more of Norris Conference Center, two services, 11 a.m., 12 noon, Saturday. Come yeah. on. Uh, and you're probably wondering, why Saturday? Why not? Yeah. yeah that, that's, my, that's my answer. Why not? You know? Let's talk about Easter. Easter. Let's go. There's different aspects, I feel, to Easter from... Good Friday and everything leading up yeah. to Easter, the, the day of resurrection. To many people, it means different things. Yeah. Good Friday for some people is not a good Friday. No. And I feel in reading the Bible, reading the word, in all honesty, it was not a good Friday. Yeah, no, uh, no, it was not. It was not a good Friday. We're talking about... And if you're new to church or unchurched, awesome. Yeah. We welcome you. What happened on Good Friday? Jesus was beaten. Yeah. He was brutally beaten. Let me let me rephrase that. Brutally disfigured. Beaten. Like his face, everything. Couldn't recognize him. That's right. And it's just crazy how they call it Good Friday. The most horrific murder of all time. Yeah. A perfect person, a perfect, perfect person. man, perfect man, no sin, no sin, literally did nothing wrong. All he did was give back. He healed people that were blind. He healed people with issues of blood. He gave so much more. I mean, you're talking about a, an abundance of food. Yeah. You're talking about snow days here in Texas. We yeah. supposedly ran out of food. Yeah. All Jesus said was, thank you, Father, for this food. Multiply. Like yeah. how much he gave back and he was still accused yeah. and murdered, beaten. Yeah. And he, he could have easily said just bad Friday, yeah, dark Friday. Yeah. He could have called it Black Friday. Just, yeah. But because his Black Friday, his dark Friday, his her just something that is unimaginable because even the Bible states that he was so disfigured, he, yeah. they couldn't even tell it was him. Yep. And, but he still chose the role of a servant yep. to give back. So he said, I'm going to take your bad yeah. so I can give you good. Oh. And that's what Good Friday is. Wow. So his bad was our good. And that's, hmm. that's one of the reasons I feel like we do call it Good Friday. Because... We don't, me personally, I don't think we deserve that. Because logically, it just doesn't make sense. No. Because it's even on our Gregorian calendar. Yeah. It says literally Good Friday. Yeah. Passover. You know, we know it as Passover, but just the word Passover is literally pass over. Yeah. From, from dead to come alive. From, yeah. You know, so it's it's a big deal. So I'm I'm glad we're talking about Easter just to to help people. You know, it's it's, it's just to really to help all people because when you talk Easter, and we're talking even in our city of San Antonio, Texas, the tra yeah. there's the tradition, it's there's a, yeah. the religion, and then there's the Christianity, and and I think in all of that. Easter, I don't know if people really know Easter. Yeah. Because in reality, you know, somebody just asked me, well, why are you doing Easter Sunday? Because they're used to Easter Sunday service. Yeah. Why are you going to have all your services on Saturday? But in reality, <laughs> and, and, and we're going to get into this, Easter, when you really start to understand a little bit more because by the way we'll we are still learning easter every day yeah because his love is so illogical it, it changes the whole existence of who we are and we can't really understand but when you start learning more about easter and good friday 
you start to realize that Easter is every day. Yep. So Sunday is every day Sunday. Yep. Not one Sunday out of the week. Or yeah. I, I know me me growing up, son, you know, my, my parents said they were Catholic, so then I said I was Catholic. Um, and, and, and hey, big shout out to everybody. We're, we're not mocking. We're not, we're just talking. We're having a conversation. But they said they were Catholics, but they never went to church. Yeah. But they did go on, on Easter, Easter Sunday. And Christmas. And Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you had to check in at least twice. And, and there's, we're not knocking down religions. We're not, but that's the tradition. That was tradition. Yeah. Because... That's what their parents did. Yep. And that's what, so they passed it on to me. So, I mean, it, you know, so I, I just, there's so much tradition. And I think, I believe that today, uh, what we want to accomplish is really just tap into Easter. Just that word Easter, what that looks like. And what it looks to your generation, what it looks to my generation, and what it looked for my parents' generation. Mm -hmm. Because my parents' generation passed on what they learned, you know, their, their, their insight, their revelation. But then in growing and really diving into understanding a little bit more, mm -hmm. because I still don't know it all, you know, I, I'm still growing little by little. But one of the things that I just, with this whole thing, Easter, I think it's going to really help people of different generations, especially your generation, you know, and, um, and, and it's really all, it's really all. I mean, there's people my age that don't even know who they are right now. They're aimless in life. Yeah. Um, I, I think just, and, and now during this whole pandemic deal, I think if you were lost, I think you're more lost now. If you were confused yeah. now, you're more confused Yeah. because there's so much news. There's so much, I mean, we, we've seen so much in the last 12 months, so, but I, let's talk. Let's talk about Easter right now. Back to Good Friday. Talking about the Bible, you have John 3.16, everyone knows it. Yeah. So loved, the God so loved the world, gave his son. Jesus, beaten. Did he have to? Yeah, he had to go through that because that's what the will of the Father was. Yeah, Did he point. want to? No, he didn't. He straight up, Jesus straight up prayed and was like, Father, I don't want to do this. No. These people don't deserve it. Get me out of this here. This was a human being yeah. on earth. All God. All God. And all human. And all human saying, Father, I don't want to do this. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, loving, giving, caring, everything great yeah. and excellent and perfect. Mm. I don't want to do this. L let this cup pass over. I don't, I don't want to do it. It's too heavy. But then he said, not my will, your will. And you I submitted. That's one thing that I so appreciate. And it's so life-changing because we're so imperfect and we make mistakes probably daily there's people out there that make mistakes daily yeah. we slip up or whatever the case is but he still did it yeah his bad friday was our good friday yeah the illogical love and i feel like this is where people what you were talking about is don't know where they're at or who they are and even now with the pandemic and everything that's happened within these past few years it's even worse so being able to understand that God, the Father, sent his son to die for you and I. Yeah. Imperfect people were a mess. Yeah, mess. Complete mess. And, <laughs> I mean, a messy, a big mess. Yeah. There's so much things that in our past that we've probably done so wrong. Absolutely. But Good Friday is where it all changed. Yeah, you know, and, and when you think about Good Friday, you think about the cross. But when you think about the cross or the, the, the tree that he hung at in Golgotha, Calvary, um, 
It was not just a cross. Mm. It was a messy cross. It was very dirty. It was a messy cross. It was a stained cross. Mm -hmm. Um, But the thing that gets me is that it was a messy cross with a perfect man. Oh, yeah. And so when I, I define myself that I'm a person that is perfectly messy. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I, I'm going to make myself vulnerable, okay? We're, we're not going to be talking this Christianese and this churchy stuff. Because this this whole cross is, and this whole Easter, is, it's the gospel. Yep. It's the good news. It's this Good Friday. And I, I like myself, he, this, I'm a perfectly messy type of guy. And... I'm going to read this one passage right now. I'm going to just read this real quick, uh, which I think this will lead to so much right now. Um, Here in Philippians, uh, Philippians 3.10, Philippians 3.10 through 14, it says, here's Paul. I I love Paul because he's like a thug, you know, he's like, man, he's he's a straight up G, man. He's like ruthless, you know. And he went from a, a thug to now he's an apostle. I mean, he he wrote, you know, pretty much majority of, of the of the New Testament. But this guy was like a mob, mobster guy, you know, and I, I love him. You know, I just I love my wife always says that I'm a Saul to Paul, you know, just because of my radical conversion. And so here's Paul, Philippians 3.10, it says, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead, now that I have already attained or am already perfected. My God. But I press on that I may lay up, lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid up for me, brethren. Come on, brethren. He's talking to us all right now. I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. I like that. So the reason I went, I wanted to share that and just kind of talk about that and talking about perfectly messy, because here's this former mobster. He's a former thug. Yep. And... And, you know, he's, he's just, like, ruthless. Like, he, he's killing Christians. That's, I was about to say that. He's he like, would beat you know, Christians. He's, like, doing drive-bys. Get rid of he's them. burning churches down. He's, like, he's a terrorist, man. And uh, yep. he was, and you may say, well, I'm not any of that. No, but here's the thing. When you are anti-Christ or anti-God, you are that. Oh, God. Yeah. You know? And, you know, so when, when we, because the Bible clearly says that, that, when, when either you're children of God or you're the children of the devil, and 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 like me, I was the children of the devil. Sin, sin is sin there because is no... I participated. Because yeah. it's fun. Yeah. It's a cool thing. I mean, it's fun. I mean, you're out with God. your homeboys. You're I mean, out with your friends, and I'm a pastor's son. Yeah, and, and and you're a pastor's son, and 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 so for me was this whole perfectly messy cross. I'm a perfectly messy person, but here's the thing. Today, because of religion, because of tradition, and we're still trying to figure out this whole Christianity thing, mm-hmm. is it's almost like I got to do all this right to get there, so I can get there. I, 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 mm-hmm. I, I have to go through this tradition or this ritual or this, you know, or the way my parents did it, or the way my grandparents did it, or the way this did it, and, and yeah. X Y Z. 
to be accepted, to yeah. be the right fit, to be that person that is now qualified yeah. for this cross, for this Easter, for this love, for this, all of this. And here Paul is saying, it's not that I know it all, but there's just this one thing yeah. that I've learned. And here's Paul now in relationship to me, when I look at this perfectly messy life that I live, mm -hmm. You know, and, and you're probably wondering, but I thought you're the pastor. You're not supposed to <laughs> be, you know, you're not supposed to be messy. Let me, there's let me a, just clear my There's throat. a BC before Christ. Absolutely. For everybody. For everybody. <laughs> and just, I tell people like this. Pastor is an office. Mm -hmm. It's not a career to me. It's a calling to me. Yeah. You know, some want to make it a career, mm -hmm. but it's a calling. And, 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 and here's the thing. I'd rather give people the best version of Henry versus me. I'm still learning how to walk in the office of this word called pastor. Yeah. Uh, you, know, it, it, you know, so for me, is I, I was sharing with you earlier, when I look at you and, and my wife and your mother and I dropped the ball early on. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know how to love your mother. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't even know how, what it was to be a, a good husband. I didn't even know what it was to be a father. You know, I, I, I knew it was fun being the sex part, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, you know, <laughs> and, and you're probably like, what? Yeah, you, you're going to hear this. I mean, we yeah. got to talk real, raw and relevant. I told you there is not going to be no church Christianese, but I enjoyed the bedroom and I'll drink to that, <laughs> but I didn't know this whole thing about father. And yeah, I couldn't give your mother what she needed. I couldn't give you what you needed because I couldn't even give myself what I needed. Mm. And, and I was a complete mess. I never really had that role model. I never really had that portrait, that picture. I'm not putting anyone yeah. down. I'm not mad at anybody. It's just, that's just the way yeah. life was given to me. It was a chapter of my life. Yeah. And I mean, it is hard to go through life with. And I'm not blaming no one. Yeah, without a coach, without guidance. Yeah. I mean, you, it, it's possible. It's very possible. Absolutely. But you need that coach. You need that guidance. Yeah. And, and so when I look at this, because in 1 John 4, 19, he he says that we didn't love him first. He loved us first. Yep. That, that's what he says. So I, could, I couldn't love my bride. I couldn't love you because I couldn't love me. Mm. But this is where now Easter comes in. Because I feel that for me, yes, I, I, I caused a lot of damage. I, I, I hurt a lot of people, loved ones. I mean, heck, I, I hurt you. I hurt yeah. your mother. I, I hurt all, you know, the closest people around me. And I heard, you know, I, I was just, I was a mess. This is, yeah, my cross was messy. Yeah. And, and so in that, this whole Easter thing, when I begin to think about that, what you just said, not my will, but let your will be done. Yeah. That's At big. that moment, he already had me in his mind. Yeah. At that moment, he was thinking of me. Yeah. He knew that I didn't know how to do this for your mother. Mm -hmm. He knew already I didn't know how to love you and how to be a father when you were a little boy. He already he already knew because he knew I didn't even know how to love me. Yeah. So he already had me in his mind. And so when he looked to the cross, he saw me. That's good. And the messy was my messiness. It wasn't because what I didn't learn from my previous generation, from my parents or their parents. No, th there's no one to blame. And here's the thing, yeah. that people get caught up because just imagine this. Imagine if I lived today with shame and guilt and regret 
bitter. Mm. I'm not good enough. It'll eat you alive. I gotta now please you. Yeah. I gotta try to please my wife. I gotta I gotta jump through all these loops to prove to, to you, to this. I mean it's a lot. from my family and and my wife's family, they told my wife that I would never be a good enough husband. As a matter of fact, my family and her family told her not to marry me. Wow. Because I was not good enough. Hmm. That I would never be a good husband. I'd be a ne- never be a good father. I'd, I'd never, all this. Yeah. But the messy cross. To touch back to mm. when Jesus Woo! was on the cross. Perfect man on the messy cross. He didn't see you for your sin. Ugh. Come on. He saw you as Henry. Mm. He saw himself in you, even though, yes, I know mm. we're not perfect, but he saw you for you. Yes. Like, I mean, you know, he, you know, he knew you're going to mess up and I'm going to mess up. Oh, Henry's going to mess up this day. Henry's going to mess up, but I still love him. Yeah. I'm still going to be right there. And you were talking about the steps and how tradition you got to do this to get here. You got to do this. It's almost like going to school. Yeah. Okay. That if you do this, you'll pass and you're on next level and next. And all these years, and then for at the end <clears throat> of you getting your degree, you, you know, you probably won't even. I'm not. I'm not knocking school, but you probably won't even get a, the job guaranteed. Yeah. So all these steps we have to go through as Christians, it's all tradition, but it's and religion. Only, it's only one step with God, and He did it already. All you have to do is just. Acknowledge. Yeah, acknowledge. The finished work yeah. of the cross. Yep. To receive the gifts. Not accept. Mm. I think people get stuck there. That's big. Because they yeah. end up accepting. It's like if you give me this cup of coffee and I accept it, but I never drink it, I never receive it. It's a waste. So here I am. Now I'm 30 years old. Now I'm 40 years old. And I still can't and forgive the cup of coffee is there for the things I yeah. did 20 years ago. Oh, God. Because I, I accepted it, but now that acceptance became my baggage. You see, mm. what's really important, not what people say about you, but what you say about yourself to you. Yeah. It's what matters. Yeah. And so... We have to receive. It's the finished word. But I love this part. What you just said, 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says, For he made him, which is Jesus, who knew no sin, Mm. to be sin for us, Mm. that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Might. We might, because it's up to us. It's the acceptance or receiving. Receiving, yeah, if, absolutely. If I were to give you a brand new Lamborghini and I give you the key, but you never drive it. My God. It's just something like that. That's how big the gift that God has for us. Absolutely. That people miss out because they're trying to go through the steps and, well, I'm not going to go to church because I have to get it right first. No, you, you go to church and... So like, he can get you right. Yeah. You, you, we as human beings will never figure it out. Yeah. So I- imagine if today I lived with shame and guilt. I would be depressed. I would be suicidal. I'd be discouraged. I would be so far behind. I would so far because I'm always going to feel I let God down. I let you down. I let her down. I yep. let this person down. Now I got to do this. Now I got to do that. Now I got. And you know what people are doing now? It's called. Let's Instagram it. Put a facade. Let's a put mask. a facade. Let, let, let's, you know, and it's crazy because yep. this whole pandemic put people to wear masks. Mm-hmm. And, and you know what? And I, I've always said it this way. And I've said it to our church. The people that are in prison, okay, they're in prison. You see them. They're, they're, they're in a prison cell, okay? But literally, there can be people in a church yeah. worse off than the people that are in prison in a cell because they're worse off is because they are still yeah. in prison it's within all, themselves. It's all mindset. And you're, 
And you have this freedom, you have this church, you, you, you can go to church, you can do this, but you got to put this whole facade and you're still a prisoner to sin. Because they never received. Of the past. Yeah. <clears throat> and it all goes back to Easter. The perfectly messy myself. And, and so today, I'm just like, I don't try to figure it out <clears throat> that he took my wrong. Yeah. And he made me right. Yeah. The ultimate gift. I feel crazy. The steps, and we're going to conclude it here. We're going to probably have to continue this on another session. Yeah. But we don't have to make it complicated. No. Easter is not complicated. Life, yes, it's hard. There's ups and downs, but. It really is not complicated because we're one step away from being with God. Yeah, one vapor away, one and, breath. And God being with us, vice versa. <clears throat> All we have to do, and you talked about it so perfectly with the, the example of the cup of coffee. God sent his son, the perfect gift, the perfect gift. Perfect gift. But it's up to us to open it. We, we can give you everything in life, but if you never use it, yeah. there's no value. There's, no, there's, no, there's nothing. And so I feel what it is, is and, and back to life, how you were talking, your, your life was a mess. And I'm pretty sure there's people watching, lives are a mess, my life is a mess. But sin is sin. Yeah. Whether you're Paul or saw crucifying Christians, yeah. or if you're somebody who's stealing money, yeah. sin is sin, or going behind somebody's back, or slander, or whatever the case is, sin is sin. Yeah. And I feel There's like no is, big or no small. There is no levels, and Easter is where God, the Father, Jesus the Son, leveled the field for everyone, and made it fair for everyone. Gave us a choice. Gave us a choice that we might be saved. So it's up to us. And we don't need to do anything. No. He did it one time and one time only. We just got to receive it, Father. Thank you for sending your son to die for us. I receive your gifts. And maybe there's people watching now that are struggling. Well, I'm never going to be good enough. I'm not worth it. First of all, I don't know who told you you're not worth it because the last time I checked, we were birthed into his kingdom. Yeah. And in his kingdom, there's everything that we ever need. Yeah. There's happiness, there's joy, there's abundance of life. Yeah. And so many people struggle with it because they feel they're not worth it. And Easter is that, yeah. that playing field yeah. where it's leveled. Easter gives us an identity. Easter gives us, we, we, we discover our who. Yeah. We discover our why. We yeah. discover our purpose. Easter, the good news, the gospel. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. It's not an aha moment. It's not a finger pointing. It's not mm -hmm. a judgmental. No, it, he leveled the ground. Grace. Yep. Grace. That's the ultimate gift. He, he, he bankrupt heaven. Mm -hmm. He left heaven to come be with us. Carry mm -hmm. our sin. He knew that I needed him. The weight of the world was on his shoulders. So whoever is watching right now, whoever is listening right now, don't give up, mm. but look up. Yeah. You know, it's okay to be perfectly messy. As a matter of fact, you know, in, in our culture, it, at home, in our church, we always say it's okay to not be okay. Yeah. So if you don't feel okay right now, it's okay. But we want to give you this opportunity yeah. to say, you know what, Jesus, I give you my life. That's simple. And you're probably going to say, I don't have to say all of this. No, nope. you see, that's where religion comes in. One that's step. where tradition comes in. That's where man-made stuff, just that simple. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I give you my life. Why is it that simple? Because now the door to my heart I have the key to it. The doorknob is not outside. The doorknob is inside. Mm. 
So now I just gave them permission to come into my life. That simple. I don't need to pray all of this because he already did it. Yeah. I just need to acknowledge the finished work at the cross. The gift that was right in front of us. So if you just prayed that, put it on the chat line. Put, I have decided. We want to connect with you guys. That's awesome. We want to give you this content. And, and, and you know what? I, I believe that today, that first conversation you had with him, there will be more to follow. Yeah. Because what you just did was pray. And maybe, maybe you're asking yourself, I don't know how to pray. You just did. That easy. I'm telling you, one step. Prayer is that simple. <laughs> yeah. Once again, you're probably wondering, well, I thought it was like this, and I thought it was like that, and I thought I had to do all this, and I... No, it's that simple. Yeah. Prayer is simply talking to God. The way I was just... We've been in dialogue and talking. That's how it is. It's easy. It's that simple. And you're probably saying, well, where's God? God... No, God's right here. Mm. You see, we're... We're, we have a flesh, we're human, but there's also a spirit side to us. So, yeah. and that's another topic in itself, but we celebrate you. You're watching, put it on the chat line. That's awesome. We want to know who you are. We want to connect with you and, you know, like us, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and yeah. let us be your cheerleaders. You know, subscribe to our YouTube, subscribe to our podcast, you know, and, and we'll, we'll help you out. That's what we're... That's all we want to yeah. do. You got to surround yourself and constantly feeding yourself with positivity. And that's what we're here for. We're not here to point fingers. We're here to uplift you and make you the best person and help you be the best person that you can be and be the best that's version it. of yourself. That's our ultimate goal is to help you, but leading you to Jesus. That's it's, it. it's not, it's not about us. It's, it's about, it's about God. That's it. We're just sharing his story Yeah, in, in our lives. So you know, uh, I, I'm so excited that we got to do this and uh, we, you know, we also don't want to leave. Uh, we want to leave this open now for people to bring generosity. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, we want to first say thank you to every generous giver that chooses to be a river, you know, to generate change, a river that makes a difference because there's people watching right now that needed to hear this message. And we're gonna continue. We'll probably just come back next week and do, do we'll it again. Keep talking about we're Easter. just gonna keep talking about Easter Easter's the whole month of April. It's Why not? New, new life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's just talk about that. Yeah. And, and let, let me tell you that we can't do it without your generous giving. It is simple, safe, secure. Click the link in the bio on your Facebook, Instagram. You can text the gift, City Church, INT, 77977. And, uh, you know, we declare Psalm 65, 11, yeah. that, you know what? He will crown your year with his goodness. His path will drip with his abundance to have an abundant mindset. Why? You know why? Because we can't do it without your generosity. And this is why, because we're on a billion soul harvest campaign. Yeah. Our mission is simple. Win soul, disciple nation. And so. You know what? Thank you for all our fam family, faith, partners around the world. Thank you so much. And we always say this. Think, believe, expect, receive, mm -hmm. increase, I like increase, that. increase, increase in Jesus' name. And hey, it's been amazing. And so can I pray to close it out? Yeah. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. Lift his countenance over your life and give you his peace. We declare and decree all things new in your life and that the best is truly yet to come. Come on, have an amazing, iconic, best Easter weekend ever from our City Church International family to you. And now as we deploy into the mission field, come on, love Thank God. God. Love, love people, people serve, serve others and change, change the, world. the world be a social media evangelist share this content let's go